Hi, Faith Point family. I'm Kendra. I'm a missionary here in the Czech Republic. And today, May 8th, is a national holiday here in Czech. Um, so schools are closed, stores are closed. It looks basically like it has for the past 60 days. <laughs> Nothing really looks different around here. Um, but it is a national holiday. It's VE Day, which means Victory in Europe Day. Uh, and on this day, we celebrate that in 1945, Germany surrendered and and we were free again from Nazism. Um, and so we celebrate this day to remember making it through the war and all the sacrifices that happened during the war. And when Czechs ask me if we celebrate this in America too, I have to explain, you know, we were still fighting that front on Japan and uh, the war wasn't over for us for another couple months. And so this day is special for Europe. Um, and so we, we celebrate it. We have a parade that goes through the city uh, in the evening. People light lanterns and carry the lanterns through the, through the city. A band plays. Um, and so it's, it's a really great time to sit and reflect and have these great thoughts about, you know, making it through and, and going forward, um, moving forward. And so that's one of the traditions that we have here on this day. Probably we won't be seeing that <laughs> this evening. Um, but another tradition that we usually have for our youth club is we usually do a sleepover on this day because the kids are out of school. Uh, and so usually we have about 50 kids that come and hang out with us and we do a sleepover. We have games and activities through the night. Um, it's more like a lock-in. We say sleepover, but lock-in is probably a better word for these youth kids. Um, and we have a short time where we get to gather the kids all together and we do a program. And so for the past two years, I've done the same program, and I'd love to share it with you. It's real short. So I get to read for you just this little short uh, story from uh, this children's uh, Bible study book. It's called Thoughts to Make Your Heart Sing. And there's a great story in here that I'd love to share with you. It's called The Missing Shovel. Normally I have a translator with me, so this is great. We can just read um, and you understand it all. Um, so I'm just going to share this story with you quickly. It says, The Missing Shovel. In World War II, prisoners of war were building a railroad. After their day's work, the shovels were counted. The guard became enraged. One was missing. The prisoners were lined up in order to stand there until someone admitted they'd stolen the shovel. No one said it was them. The guard shouted. Still no one budged. The guard threatened to kill all of them unless someone owned up. At last, one man stepped forward and said he had done it, and the guard killed him. Later, at the guardhouse, the tools were recounted. No shovel was missing. The innocent man had sacrificed his life to save others. Two thousand years ago, an innocent man stepped forward for us and sacrificed his life to save us. And then there's a verse that says, John 15, 13, there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. And there's this little picture here showing the shovels. It's a heavy story, especially reading it with kids, but they understand that growing up in, in Czech Republic and they hear stories of the war and it's, it's, it's bigger for them. It's real for them because their parents and their grandparents have been passing down these stories and lived these stories. Um, and so what I do with this story then is I, I turn to the kids and I say, at the end here, it's told us there it wasn't the only man that stood up and made a sacrifice for his friends, that there was another man who did this. And I say, this man, his name was Jesus. And do you know who his friends were? His friends, you. And he stood up and sacrificed his life to save you. And I go through the gospel story with them. And I talk about how Jesus died for our sins and has uh, given us an, a chance at a new life. And so when we believe in him and understand that he gave up his life for us to die for our sins, that we get to have eternity with him. And there's so much joy in all of that. Um, and so then I, I love to do this with the kids. I say, turn to the person next to you and for the next three minutes retell them the story and for three minutes 50 of my students become evangelists um, and it's a real great time to see this and just to reflect on it and so I wanted to share this little piece of it with you um, and so I really hope that this can just be an encouragement to you today um, and 
it doesn't have to end there. We all have lights and we can light our own lanterns, our own lives, and carry it through the streets and show just how much joy we have that saying the battle's over, we've won, that victory is ours. There's victory in all of that. And we, we light our light and we show God's love through that. And so I just pray that you have a wonderful day today and that you are able to show your light and your joy um, for Jesus. Thanks.